y'all. I am so excited. We have our first crossover story time. I am bringing to you characters from one of the first stories I told on my channel called Secrets of the Plantation and meshing up the last story time characters from the previous story time, The Contract. <clears throat> Let me give you a background. You may want to go back and watch Secrets of the Plantation. This was set in the South. We have characters Mina, Quentin, her mother, uh, grandmother, Big Mama, Miss Bernie, her good friend down in the South. I believe this was set in, in um, Savannah, Georgia, outside of Savannah, Georgia. Miss Mina was working at a um, old plantation. Some stuff popped off. Couple of stories. She ends up hanging out and dating this fair-skinned man who turns out to be really he's a he's albino he has a albinoism is that the word his name is quentin um this was set in the early 2000s then we have the characters from the contract we have tiara who was dating and engaged to shady ass and sexual ass paul winthrop with his mother miss mary winthrop now that was set in 1987 <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. So I was trying to think, okay, how am I going to have this to cross over? Because you just can't jump a decade without some explanation. Secrets of the Plantation was set in the early 2000s, 2005. Mina was in her mid-20s, excuse, excuse me, early 20s, okay? She's young. She's still young. Um, 2000, okay, early 2000 in the South. Now, uh, the contract is set in LA. We just finished it 1987. Now, this is gonna, this storyline is gonna be five years after the uh, Secrets of the Plantation, but 18 years after the contract. Mina did, it, did end up marrying Quentin. They had a baby or child, and their child is a toddler. Um, her uh, grandmother is still alive. She's older now. She's in her early 80s, but Big Mama is still kicking. Um, for, unfortunately, her father, her papa, ended up having a stroke and passing away shortly after they gave birth to their first child, okay? Um, Mina did go to school. She, If y'all remember, she was taking school. She wanted to be a paralegal. She thought she wanted to be a lawyer. Didn't go out that way. You know, things change as you get older. And... Um, Instead, she went ahead and got her real estate license and she's doing really well um, as a real estate agent, okay? So now, we're gonna start this off in LA with Paul. Um, I'm just giving y'all the background. This is just gonna be part one, cause I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna get into the details. So, Paul is at the funeral of his mother. His mother has passed away from kidney failure and Next to him is Miss Georgia, a.k.a. Richard. And on the other side is the thin man. He's just going to be the thin man just for mystery, right? So Georgia is being very <laughs> extra, crying, boo-hooing. She has on this fat. <laughs> I need to stop. She has on this black hat, crying, and Paul is just sitting up there rolling his eyes. Now, the T is, y'all, yes, they had an ancestral relationship, but Paul's mother, unfortunately, had been grooming him for a young, at a young age. He was grown. He had every chance to stop that nasty-ish and get with someone else and not be messing around with his own mama, but by that time, the damage had been done. A part of him was actually glad that his mother had passed away, right? Funeral went well. Miss George is like, oh, Paul. Your mama looked beautiful. She looked beautiful in that smock. Is it called a smock? <laughs> she looked absolutely gorgeous. You cannot tell she was suffering her last days. The feminist like Georgia, how could you even tell what she looked like with all that crying you were doing? Your mascara just running all over the place. <laughs> and so George just like, hush up. You know, fanning herself, wiping her eyes down. Oh, and wiping her face, you know. So, Paul has decided, you know, um, he's had enough of L.A. He wants to move back to the South where his mother was raised and is originally from and currently live in. So, he sells his big estate. He didn't get as much as he had hoped for because it's an old house. He's been living in the same, you know, dying decade, rusting house. And, you know, Paul has had some shady business deals that have fallen through. He has lost a lot of money. Someone who was originally back in the 80s, he was worth like 
five point something million dollars, he barely has a hundred thousand dollars to his name. That's the inside T to him, right? And now he's decided to take the little bit of money he has left, go down to the south, buy him something grand, and start over there. Yeah. So again, this puts Paul at fifty, and Mina is. 30 and actually it is her birthday so that's where we're going to start off we are in um, a small town outside of savannah georgia paul is in his raggedy ass corvette <laughs> It's raggedy, right? You know, girl, that carpet is gone. He's in something else, you know. You're driving down to um, Georgia. Mina awakens. She, you know, she hears the alarm go off and she turns over to her side. And Mina awakens to two big brown eyes. And it's her little girl, Zaire. And so Zaire is just four years old. And so she mumbles, Happy birthday, mama. And Mina grabs her face and she's like, thank you, baby. She gives her a kiss on the cheek. And so Mina gets up and sure enough, it's her birthday. She's turning 30, the big three zero. She had plans with Courtney later on that night. You want to go down there? She had plans with Courtney later on. Um, and unfortunately, Quentin, who is always out on business still, won't be able to do anything, celebrate, because he's not there. He goes off, you guys, on these business trips, and he stays gone for like a month or two, you know, but he makes really good money. Um, Mina went ahead and decided that being a lawyer was not it for her, so she decided to get her real estate li license, like I said, and she's one of the top real estate agents in their small town, okay? So, like I said, she kisses her baby Zaire on the cheek, and she's like, oh, what did you? What are you doing? Why are you talking like that? The baby's mouth is full of food. He's, she's like, I'm eating some cereal. She's like, what did I tell you about getting that cereal by yourself? So she's like, sorry, mama. So Mina gets up and get out of bed. And sure enough, she sees cereal on the kitchen floor. Child, the baby ain't got up. <laughs> The baby done got up and, and fixed herself a bowl of cereal and there's frosted flakes everywhere, honey. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Mina goes ahead and, and cleans it up and she gets Zaire ready to drop off over her grandmother's house. Her grandmother keeps Zaire for her. She gets her, her little backpack ready and, you know, Mina looks in the mirror. She had put on quite a few pounds after having her baby and she just couldn't manage to get it off. So anyway, <laughs> she gets her baby ready and she gets herself together, um, grabs a couple of papers off the kitchen table, table excuse me, and goes over to her <laughs> grandmother's house table, goes over to her grandmother's house, um, gets up and she knocks on the screen door and she says, like, big, um, big mama, you up? She could hear, um, she could smell, excuse me, um, bacon, frying, and eggs. So she just goes ahead and lets herself in. She just likes to introduce herself so she doesn't scare her grandmother, right, going in. So the baby runs in, you know, and goes to um, goes to her great-grandmother. And, of course, she turns around, Miss Bernie turns around, and she's like, well, there goes my baby. And she picks up, and she's like, now, big mama, you can't be picking her up. What about your back? She's like, I can pick up my grand, but my great-grandbaby if I want to. Child, you been not telling old people what they can't do. <laughs> so Bernie is hu hugging her little great grandbaby. She girl, she loves her. So Mina's like, you know what, Big Mama? Um, I feel like this may be a little too much for you. I, you know, you've been keeping her all these years, but I'm gonna start putting her in daycare here in a couple more weeks. That's when Miss Bernie put down the baby. She's like, to hell you will. Ain't nobody keeping my great grandbaby but me. And Mina kind of, you know, she didn't say anything. She was not about to argue with her big mama this morning. She had a showing, you know, later on. And she wanted to make sure and prep for it. She's like, all right, big mama. And she gives her a kiss on the cheek. And she's like, okay, well, I'll talk to you later on, okay? I'll call you to see how things are. She's like, all right then, baby. And she shoes, um, she shoes Mina out the door, the grandma does. So she goes ahead and go on to work. Uh, I don't know what you call it, a real estate firm with other real estate agents. So she doesn't have her own yet, but one day she hopes to, right? Right. Yeah, she's getting ready to look at, at her appointments. She had barely had enough time the night before to see what was going on. And unfortunately, the market has been kind of slow. She when she first started, she was showing maybe four or five houses a day. Now she could barely barely get that in a week. But she has someone that's coming in to look at one of the older houses, and she was really shook because normally no one looks at the older stuff, they all want the new houses, right? So she looks now at her, you know, right now it's 10 o'clock and the appointment is at 1. So she looks down at the 1 o'clock and she's like, okay, 1 o'clock. And she looked at the name. She's like, Paul, 
one o'clock appointment for Paul Winthrop. So she gets her phone, she dials his cell phone, and she's like, hello? He's like, hi, who is this? She's like, hi, I'm Mr. Winthrop, this is Mina. He said, you can call me Paul. She's like, okay, um, hi, Paul, this is Mina uh, LaRue. She took her husband's last name, LaRue, okay? She said, this is Mina LaRue, um, are we still on for one o'clock? He's like, yes, yes, we, we're still on, and uh, nothing has changed. She's like, okay, well then I'll see you then. So she has a one o'clock appointment with Mr. Paul to show him this estate. All right, y'all, that's part one.